sets for the construction of three bio larvicide factories in Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, and Nigeria to effectively control malaria in the West African sub region. The launch of the project, a collaboration between ECOWAS, Cuba, and Venezuela, is part of the West African Malaria Elimination Program. Theodora Amedeto reports. Besides being a serious public health problem, malaria is a major challenge to development in Africa. It kills one million children every year around the world. One child dies of malaria every 39 seconds in Africa. Ghana spends about 2 billion cities every year on malaria control alone, in spite of effort over the past 50 years to deal with the problem. A concerted continental approach is therefore recommended by ESPECT as the most effective way to control malaria. The ECOWAS Malaria Elimination Campaign is in line with the just-ended Special Abuja Summit of the African Union on HIV-8, tuberculosis and malaria. Among others, it undertook to intensify the use of larval source management where suitable for the control and elimination of malaria. Following this, ECOWAS, Cuba and Venezuela signed a tripartite agreement for the construction of three factories for the production of biolavicide factories in Côte d'Ivoire, Nigeria and Ghana. A biolavicide is a living microorganism that attacks and kills the larvae of mosquitoes. It kills mosquito larvae without harming other animals and humans. The president of the ECOWAS Commission, Mr. Kadre Desiree Odrago, said the intervention by ECOWAS in the campaign is to complement the effort of member states through the strengthening of the vector control component in a multi-sectoral strategy for the elimination of malaria from the region. Thus is informed by the fact that vector control has been rightly identified by the World Health Organization as the only intervention that ensures the reduction of malaria transmission from an extremely high level to close to zero. The Minister for Health, Madame Sherry Aite, said, though Ghana has made progress in reducing malaria prevalence rates over the years, the government of Ghana has decided to add biolavicide to the malaria control methods already being used. We need to mobilize leadership in government and in civil society, in the private sector, in NGOs, and obviously our traditional leaders are here. We also believe that you will join us in the fight against malaria. The factories will also produce biopesticides and biofertilizer, which do not poison the environment. Theodora Medeto, GTV News, Accra.